Hi there and welcome to my living room. So today I'm going to show you how to shoot an e-bike product video that looks like this. So the equipment that I'm going to use for the shoot is a Sony a7 III with a Tamron 28-75 uh, and I might be using a Sigma 90 lens uh, for the macro shots. So my initial idea was uh, to use the TV as a backdrop and I wanted to have a look at uh, forests with a lot of fog and uh, once I had it on the TV I didn't like it that much so I started to look for some other things. I looked for a waterfall and then I came across this uh, thunderstorm and I thought it was quite cool. So I'm gonna use that as a backdrop, uh, a moving backdrop and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start shooting with the camera. Firstly, I'll do some static shots, then I'll do some moving shots with the tripod and then I might um, use the camera handheld and see what I can get out of it. So what I've done now is uh, lifted up the bike and uh, turned it a little bit slightly so that um, when I film the shock absorber, I get the, the TV on the background. So whilst I'm at it, I'm going to try and uh, get a shot of the motor and all these little bits that are here on this, on this side. Uh, my idea is to do a, a sequence where all the little parts are shown and then I'll do the big reveal of the bike at the end. I'm moving upwards slowly. So, <clears throat> now... I'm going to do a shot of the, um, the disc brake. I always try and do two shots to see which one I like the most in post. I might have it even also moving. I'll try that. Next, I'm going to film this cube logo, which I think is also quite important. So I'm going to try and film this writing here, which uh, it says that it's made out of a composite material. I think it was quite interesting. And here I might even do a, um, a in-camera transition where I, I go from one side, I go quite slowly, I let it get in focus and then I whip the camera quite quickly. Okay, so I have the tripod a bit lower down on the ground uh, so I can shoot the, the front suspension fork and get the background uh, in my shot. So I'm gonna do some shots with this, panning with the fluid head and yeah, let's see how it looks. I had it in the center now, I'm gonna try and place it a bit on one side using the rule of thirds. See how that looks. Okay, now I'm gonna try and get the wheel. Find it quite cool like this. Might even spin it. Have a look at it. Okay. What I'm gonna try and do is start it there. 
I'm gonna start it and then spin it and maybe reverse it in post. Okay. I might even get from these little knobs that are coming out of the, the tire some, some shots. Maybe from another perspective, I might just move this. Does that work? I'm not sure. Does it zoom? Yeah. So what I'm doing now is uh, shooting this detail here from the brakes. That's the make of the brake Maguda, and I think that would be a cool um, little thing to, to film. So I'm gonna start shooting that. I might even now move the, the wheel so that you can see the, the disc brake moving. So what I'm thinking of doing now is to turn off the lights and use one of these uh, panels um, to basically reveal all the objects. So when I re record, move the light source from one side to the other and you'll be able to see all the, the shapes and the, and the logos and so on. So what I've done now is flip the bike and I'm gonna repeat the whole process. I'm gonna do from, from this side, all the, the shots that I need to do, uh, basically all the little um, details that are on the bike. Um, yeah, and basically also try with, the, with the, the light, with the panel, with the light panel, try and do some effects with that. And uh, when I finish, I'll probably start with some macro shots as well. I'm gonna start with the uh, gears here and maybe even turn the wheel and change the gears to see the change the chain moving so what i'm shooting now is the brake system here and instead of moving the camera i'm gonna move uh, the handlebar and make it move uh, to try and get a more dynamic shot. So you don't always have to um, move the camera, you can always use uh, movement with the object from your product. Especially with such uh, big products, um, you can maybe place the bike on the ground and move it to get some of these uh, details and yeah, basically have a static background but uh, the moving object. Now I'm gonna try and get all this writing here and I've got my tripod um, folded in and I'm going to use it as a, as a monopod uh, to try and get um, a motion that looks like this. And basically I'm going to focus onto the, um, onto the writing here on the frame and move out and then reverse it in post so that when I have the movement I go back to the writing and it's in focus. Okay, so I put my tripod aside and I'm going to try and get some uh, handheld shots to see if I can get some more dynamic uh, into the, the, the sequence. As until now I've only taken some tripod and yeah, basically static and with the fluid head, some panning shots and so on. As I have my bike suspended on my tripod, then I can take some shots from the bottom and I think that will give it a cool uh, touch to the sequence. I'm gonna try that. Okay, so I'm just about to turn the lights off. I have my lamp here again and I'm gonna try and do a reveal of the front of the bike. I have the camera there, and basically the backdrop there, the TV again and all the lights are out and I'm just going to go crazy with a, with a lamp to uh, simulate the thunderstorm and then I'm also going to try and just do uh, left to right, right to left, up, down and down, up with the lights and see what I, I can get.
Okay, so I now have the camera on the ground um, and it's already recording and I'm gonna try and get the suspension bouncing up and down, which I think it could make a quite cool shot, quite a dynamic shot. I'm gonna break something in. Okay, so now I have the bike uh, in front of a green screen and uh, I'm gonna try and get the final shot um, using this setup. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I um, don't think I have enough light for the green screen, but uh, I'm just gonna try it out. Um, I'm gonna do some static shots and also some handheld shots to see what comes out better in post when I get the screen uh, rubbed off in Final Cut Pro. So a few days have gone by and I finally finished the video. If it uh, somehow helped you in any way, gave you some ideas, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, take care, bye.